Hi, it's Chris. In today's video, we're going to show you how to replace your idler arm lever. In doing today's repair, we're going to need to take the machine completely apart. And in order to make sure that we keep ourselves safe, we need to remove the power from the appliance. That can easily be done on a dryer simply by unplugging the cord from the receptacle. If your dryer is hardwired in and it doesn't have a power cord, then you need to go back to your fuse panel, turn off your breaker or remove your fuses. A couple of things we're going to want to have on hand to start a repair, or I like to use. One is I like to have a little tool tray to put all my screws in so I don't lose them or have them disappear on me and waste a bunch of time. Uh, the other thing that's helpful is a knee pad. Uh, your knees will thank you if you find something like a cushion or a blanket or an actual knee pad to put down while you're working on the machine. To start off with, we're simply going to open the door and then the corners here and here are Phillips screws. So with our number two Phillips screwdriver, we're simply going to remove those screws And this will allow us to remove the top to access the rest of the machine. With those screws removed, we can now lift the top, grab the front corners of the top, elevate it, slide it a little bit to the left, and the cover comes right off, and we'll set it to one side. So now we're going to re release the front panel. To do so, we're going to remove this screw. So we now move to the other side and remove that same screw, but we're going to want to hang on to the front because once the screw is removed, the whole front assembly will be free. We'll hold the edge of the drum assembly, pull the front forward, pick that up and swing it around. So we're going to want to disconnect these wires. Uh, some of the wires are for your door switch, some are for your sensing bars and your light bulb as well. You may want to take, if you have a smartphone available to you, just take a picture of those so that later on when we go to connect them, you're able to go back and double check as to what wire went where. So we're going to undo this little cover. Oh, my slides right out. And now you're able to see the door switch. We're going to remove this white wire just by pulling it. And we also have a brown wire that needs to be removed as well. And we just wiggle that off the connector and it's free. In the same area, we have a red and a black connector and that just gets pulled apart. There's one more connector as well. And again, that's just a matter of applying a little pressure and separating it. So now with the harness separated, we're now able to remove the front and set it to one side. So now we need to remove the, uh, the belt from the motor put in idler pulley so that we can free the drum assembly. To do that, we're going to do that from the front of the machine. And it means reaching in, lifting the drum, pulling the idler pulley so we free the tension on the belt. Drop the belt off the motor pulley. Now the belt is free and loose and we're able to remove the drum. Just got to raise it a little, pull forward. Reach into the back. And pull the drum out. And set it to one side. So to change or to remove this uh, idler arm, it's uh, just a matter of lifting it upward, pulling that piece out of the housing, clearing the wiring harness and lifting it up out of place. So now that the idler arm is removed, we simply have to remove this nut, remove the pulley, insert it onto the new one, put the nut back on. So we're just going to pull the pulley back, the 17 inch, 7 16 inch socket. Going to 
Remove that speed net. Slide the pulley off, get our new uh, arm, and reverse the process. To do it, we'll just make sure that we have a little bit of the, the grease. Doesn't require a lot of grease, too much grease, and you'll wind up with lens sticking to it and causing it to bind up. Now we just need to install the nut. And we're ready to reinstall it. So now we're just going to reinstall the bracket. Bring our end on the inside of the wiring harness. Slide it in. Insert the end into the housing and drop it down into place. With the arm installed, you just want to push it forward towards the motor to make sure that we're operating that brake switch down at the bottom. It's activating the switch as it's supposed to, so we know we're good. Okay, one of the things we want to do before we install the drum is lock up the idler pulley. And that's simply a matter of pushing the arm forward, locking in the end to the motor bracket, just like that. That will make it so much easier to attach your belt. So now we're ready to install our drum assembly. Um, it's the ideal time before we do that, just to check that back bearing, make sure it's in good condition. Uh, this one is fine, uh, it's ready to go. If it wasn't, it'd be the ideal time to replace it. Um, now that we're good to go, we're going to use the belt and we have it around the drum and we have it lined up on the same track that it was before we removed it. So using the belt as a carrying handle, we're going to just lift the drum and insert that shaft into the receptacle in the back. and the tub has just now been inserted into the bearing. We'll just release the belt. And now our next step is to get down in the front and connect the belt. Just go to reach in, put the belt onto the idler, put the belt around the motor pulley. I'm just going to release the idler by pulling it off of that motor bracket and that'll tighten up the belt. And we're good. We'll just do a quick little test. Rotate the drum. And as you can see, the blower is turning. And we know the belt is on. Now we just have to put the front back on the dryer. So now we just need to connect our wiring harness back onto uh, the front. And then we can reinstall it onto the dryer. We'll start with the white wire. Slide that into place. The brown wire. The two wire harness connector. Resecure the harness cover. And now we're ready to slip the front on. So on the front of the dryer at the bottom, we have three locating tabs, one and three. And those are the tabs that will lock into the bottom of that front when we go to put it on. Swing our front around without yanking on those wires we just connected. Bring it around in front of the machine, raise it up, and drop our front onto those three little tabs. One thing we'll just want to make sure is that our wires are not in the way. Bring the front in towards your drum. And we'll need to raise the drum just slightly so it goes up onto the front housing. And now we just need to put 
the screw back into that corner that we removed earlier on that side and the same on this side. Taking our quarter inch nut driver, let's snug those up. There, your front is installed, your drum turns nice and smooth, and you're ready to put the top back on. Now to put the top back on, if you remember, when we took it off, we actually had to slide it a little bit to the left to release it. So now that it's on those tabs, we're just gonna pull it a little bit to the right, and that'll lock it in place and lower it down. Now that it's down in place, we're simply gonna open the door and reinstall the retaining screws. I usually just start them with my fingers. So I know they're in the right place and then just snug them down with the screwdriver. And now that we've completed the repair, it's time to reapply the power to the dryer. So that means either plugging the cord back into the outlet or if need be, return to your fuse panel, insert the fuse or turn your breaker on. And that should have your dryer up and running and your repair is complete.